February 2024 reading wrap up. Let's get into it. I have read an astounding, a record breaking total of four books this month. Yes, that's right. I read four books, not this month, but in February. In the month of February, I read four books. I read A Minor Cornus. Cornus? No. I read A Minor Chorus by Billy Ray Belcourt, The Adult by Bronwyn Fisher, The Girls by Emma Klein, and Opinions by Roxanne Gay. I have my handy dandy reading journal here, which has evolved. So let's get started. It's going to be a short and cute down and dirty one because I only read four books. What happened this month? I did a lot of traveling this month. I was traveling. So you would think I'd be reading on the plane. And I was. But I was also like, I think watching movies. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching movies. Anyways, what these books are and what they're about. A Minor Chorus, a novel by Billy Ray Belcourt. This book was kind of like poetic, a lot of brilliant pose about a Native American boy, queer youth who is in academia, not youth, but like young, young adult ish uh, in a graduate program in academia is a writer and is writing about like his experience being Native Definitely not Native American. Definitely not. Let me not even, oop, delete. Delete, delete, delete. He is indigenous and native to a territory in Canada. So I don't know um, if they're not called Native Americans in Canada, but indigenous people in Canada, that is where this book takes place. Let me be politically correct. It's about just being a minority, being an other in a place of academia and just the whole fact of like this institution was built and has systems in place to keep others out and to make it so it's very hard for anyone who is an other to achieve and to really feel like they belong 100%. So our main character, who is an indigenous, queer, young man, just really trying to be a writer, really trying to get ahead and get his PhD in, you know, academia, in writing about his experience. And he's having a hard time. And he decides to take a break from his program and go, back to his native land and just really coming to terms of just the policing of indigenous people's bodies by people who aren't even police and just a lot of the encounters that our main character makes in this book resemble very much the African-American experience, resemble very much the Native American experience and how these tropes really are are universal you know just the policing of people of color's bodies in spaces just the constant microaggressions and reminders that y'all don't belong here but then in our souls it's like especially for indigenous people like this is our this is our land but also land doesn't belong to people so y'all all all look ridiculous a lot of poetry in this book a lot of, you know, advanced thought. This was a tough one for me to complete. It took me a really long time to read 162 pages. I gave it a three out of five stars. The sentence structure, I've been saying prose and poetry a lot. It's a different sentence structure. I had to reread it a lot. Uh, You can tell the author is trying to reject the normal white English storytelling tropes of like beginning, middle, and end. This author is really trying to rebuke um, those systems as well in a novel. I watched an interview that this author did on YouTube. It helped me uh, understand the book. Next, we have The Adult by Bronwyn Fisher. This book is about a teenage girl. Maybe she's 19. I forget. No, she's 18. 18, 19. First year in college at university. And it's just kind of, I don't know if she's a loner. I don't know if this is really going deep down into the psyches of young girls who move away from home for the first time, go to college, and are just like trying to make friends with anybody and everybody and just, you know, flounging out here, just kind of lost 
and you don't know who you are yet as like a young adult being on your own. So you're kind of trying to forge into the type of person you want to be, but not really knowing and trying to fit on all these different things. And you're just kind of around a bunch of people at school who you don't even necessarily like, but you're just around them because of circumstances. So our main character in this book she gets a little caught up. She gets a little caught up in the sauce. Uh, she just goes to the park one day and a random grown woman um, just, you know, approaches her and basically says like, hey, what's up? And this is like a grown woman, like a woman who's like 30 something years old. And our main character develops a little bit of a crush and it kind of becomes infatuated with this grown woman. And the grown woman takes her under her wing invites her over her house and they develop a relationship that is I don't know if it's it's inappropriate it's inappropriate it's a much older woman taking advantage of an impressionable young adult and so they form a relationship and our main character falls in love with this grown woman now this grown woman has an ex-wife okay and the way this novel was set up I knew we're in a college town. So in my opinion, like adults who live in a college town more than likely have something to do with the college. But throughout the book, the grown woman who our main character falls in love with doesn't isn't giving a connection to the college town right off the bat she has like some other job but in my mind as a reader a reader of novels I'm like what is what is the connection and sure enough the connection that I thought was going to happen did happen and I'm just like maybe it's because I'm 28 that I saw this and our main character is only 18 19 so of course she wouldn't connect the dots like I connected the dots but the dots were there and literally there were breadcrumbs to lead you to what I guess was supposed to be the plot twist I didn't have a lot of like takeaways from this book I didn't learn anything deeper or new about life or society or culture today the story was good like it kept me invested our main character was kind of interesting and had interesting takes and really does take you back to that time when you were a teenager and you're just like I want to be like these women women that I see am I in love with these women I don't know like do I like the girls that I'm around I don't know like I'm not connecting with my parents anymore so I I, I was intrigued by our main character's curiosity and also our main character had a lot of anxiety and reading about anxiety intrigues me immensely what you do like when you're nervous and when you're just full of all of this anxious energy and you don't know why or how to express it it's a sounding. I give this book a three out of five stars. The next book I read was The Girls by Emma Klein. Two out of five stars. I liked The Guest by Emma Klein, which is why I read this book, The Girls by Emma Klein. I didn't read the synopsis before I picked up The Girls. And had I read the synopsis, I don't think I would have picked this up. This is basically like a fictional retelling of the Charles Manson cult and murders that happened. But this is like a fictionalized version but same like story so our main character is a 14 year old girl a girl a child and she gets into this cult and they do all of the adult x-rated inappropriate stuff with this 14 year old girl and it's just disturbing it made me i was uncomfortable um which you know is what books are here to do you're just hearing it from the point of view of the 14 year old and then it goes back and forth to when she's also an adult and how you know this affected her growing up as well tough read for me um I I would consider myself someone who is interested in cults and just cult like mentality but when it comes to children in cults that is just completely different not my favorite narrative from this author. And the last book I read for the month of February is Opinions by Roxane Gay, which is a collection of essays that Roxane Gay has written for various news outlets. And basically the introduction just is Gay just explaining opinions and her opinion on opinions. But this was an amazing collection of essays uh, that surprisingly I have never read before. Roxane Gay is smart with like a sense of humor. She 
talks about race and politics, but also like film and celebrity culture and TV shows. And so also reading the essays, you know, when she's hanging out with Janelle Monet and having an interview with Tessa Thompson, like I really liked those pop culture moments in this book as well. And this book was also an inspiration for me as someone who is writing, learning to write my opinion and share my opinions with the world. And, you know, your words and what you say have weight and just realizing, you know, the blessings and the consequences and how you really can't control um, how the world responds, if they respond, if they hear, if they listen and um, and the repercussions. She talks about cancel cult. Like, it's just a lot. So. I gave this book a five out of five stars and I highly recommend. And those are the four books that I've read for the month of February. Maybe in March, I will read more. I do have a 100 book goal for the year, but I always make a goal to read 100 books in a year. And I have never for the past, like maybe since 2020, I've never read 100. And I'm okay with that. (laughs) And I'm really okay with that. So we'll see. I've already finished one book, two books for March. And we'll see how the rest of the month goes. I'll be letting you know. Bye.